Hey everyone, it's Alex from Hammond Ironworks here, and today I'm shooting just a little short video. I'm not sure if I'll be, be able to do any forging tomorrow. I'll try my hardest to get uh, some forging done, but if I can't, there may be no video, and this will be your video. Um, and I'm just going to show you uh, two recent developments in my blacksmithing shop, and uh, one of them's a really sweet tool. So, here we go. Alright, so the first biggest development in uh, my shop is... I just acquired a post vise. It cost me $100 for the vise. And then I got this stump for free. And I just spent like $40 making the stand here. Um, it's just two by sixes mounted in a crisscross pattern. And then one layer of them uh, on the top. They're all glued together with uh, water resistant glue. And so it can stay outside. Um, and they're all screwed in. So it shouldn't go anywhere. But as you can see, this post vise, the, the little issue with it is that the spring right here likes to poke out. Just smack with a hammer quick and it's all set back to good. Um, it's not cemented in yet because I do need to go buy um, lag screws or lag bolts to put it on the top. But it's this is what the mount will actually look like. And it does, it works really well. It's not super smooth. But it does open and close. It's, you know, everyone's seen a post vice before, or maybe not everyone, but everyone that has any blacksmithing knowledge knows uh, of a post vice. Um, yeah, and so it, it's cost me just under 150 bucks, and I think it's going to come up to 150 with buying the lag bolts. I did forget to mention the maker. Um, as you can see there, it says the Colombian. Um, it also says hardware company, so I'd assume it's the Colombian hardware company, uh, made in Cleveland, as you can see there, and it does say made in USA. So I'm proud to own this antique vise, which I'm going to bring back to life. All right, guys, I just got the vise mounted. Um, as you can see, I just put, uh, six inch lag screws in there and I popped a washer on top and it's going nowhere. As for the mounting hardware down here, I just uh, cut out some sheet metal bits and I put some screws in it. And you can see it runs all the way to the ground, it touches and comes all the way up. And it works like a charm. All right. All right, guys. And as for the second update on my shop, I have actually acquired a, uh, a quite large cabinet. It's completely solid wood. It's not like edge framed or whatever. Um, it's really solid. Uh, I got it completely for free from my wood shop because some dude made it and no longer wanted it. And so they were basically going to throw it away. And so I was like, hey, if you're throwing that away, I'll take it. I made a few customizations. As you can see, I just laid a 2x4 out on both sides. And I had this one by six, and I just laid the one by six paneling out to make a little shelf that I can store, I don't know, my metal and railroad spikes and whatnot. And then down here, I just have a bunch of wood storage uh, and like scrap wood and stuff they used to light my fire. I have all that uh, kept out of the cold, harsh snow, basically winter. And I added a support pin on the bottom because it was a little shaky at first. I'm not sure how well you can see, but. I did add three 2x4s to the bottom to keep it off the ground. And so hopefully if it does happen to flood or something like that, it shouldn't get uh, destroyed or rotted or what. I also water sealed and spray, like clear spray painted the entire thing um, to make it better. And it's just off to the right side of my shop. And I'm going to put a lock on it to deter people from stealing from it. I know it may not be perfect, but it is what I have. And as you can see, it's just right next to this forge and then the stand. And so the floor will be tucked back behind this corner when it's operating. And for you guys that are elsewhere in the world, uh, we do have a fair chunk of snow just from the past couple days. It's probably... Oh, I don't know, three inches, four inches deep, and that's frozen. 
See you guys in a bit. Hey everybody, uh, I just like to show off my quick uh, suit jacket. Um, we were dropping stuff at off at uh, a Goodwill, and I was like, "Well, I'd run and see what kind of clothing they have." I was looking for flannel or jeans or something. I didn't really find anything, but I did find this amazing flannel suit jacket. I mean, how awesome is this? Um, and I like to just recap on the additions to my shop. I did get a post vice. It cost me around $150, maybe a little bit over, like $152. Um, I spent about $38 on um, on the lumber for the base. I already did have the stump and the post vice I acquired for $100. I just got it off Craigslist and there was this uh, kind of old blacksmith and he was looking to move. Um, I'm not sure where, but he was looking to move. And he was selling for pretty cheap. And so I got a smoking hot deal and I got an awesome new tool for my shop. Um, and I did acquire a cabinet, as you guys saw. Um, I'm using that to do some storage and whatnot and to keep things dry from for the winter. I also want to give a huge shout out to uh, Anson over at Ivy Forge. You can find him at uh, Ivy Forge on YouTube. Uh, I think he's got a Facebook page. It's uh, just Ivy Forge. I'm not sure about what else, but he's, uh, I won a giveaway, and he hit 250 subscribers. So go so show him some love if you already haven't. I also want to give a small tribute to my first pair of tongs ever made. They're just some rebar tongs, but I'm not sure how well you can see, but right at the front of my finger, it snapped. And so now these tongs are uh, kind of pointless, and I hope to make a video sometime soon of me taking these tongs and... Uh, Maybe making some smaller tongs with a smaller rivet and taking these tongs and making some scrolling tongs. Um, I am still trying to make the video on fixing the tomahawks, but I didn't have any time to actually forge because I spent uh, most of my time working on that post device and I spent most of my weekend working. Um, other than that, I don't have any super major plans. I'll continue to try and release a video every Sunday. Um, and just a quick announcement. When I do hit 100 subscribers, I will try and uh, make a giveaway. I'm not sure what yet. Uh, maybe drop a comment down below if you'd like to you know, have me give away something. Uh, I can't give away anything sharp or anything because I'm under 18. And I'm not sure about laws or anything. You may be able to be... 18 and I may be able to 16, but I'm not quite sure about the law. So keep it something like simple like a bottle opener I don't know Kind of whatever you got just no weapons Though I do like making weapons. They're awesome Other than that I'd like to see you guys later. Bye